Well, gang, it seems like we got another mystery out of our hands. And apparently, I'm getting reports that the 9 KD goat, the 9 KD queen, rumor has it that you guys already know who I'm talking about. Oh, shit. She back? We're hearing that she's back in town. She's back in business. She's back in form. We're hearing that the Na Nadia, the 9 KD queen, is making a return tonight, fellas. Like the video if you love your mama. Like the video if you don't want cheaters in your games. Dislike the video if you love getting killed by cheaters. Guys, I want to know where you at. And just the other day, the homie Swag also asked Activision to be put on a Diddy list, right? I'm talking about the white list, guys. So. Let's actually see what happened in the cheaters land today. Shout out to the homie Call of Shim, roll it. Call of Duty have decided to spend $180,000 on streamers. They decided they needed to send them a Christmas bundle. What? Some of these streamers don't even play Call of Duty. This is why I blame streamers for killing this game. They have drained the money from the publisher and there is no staff left to fix the game. Call of Duty is in its- Yo, that by crazy. That by crazy, but putting it in your room, man. <laughs> Worst state it's ever been in. But the streamers now have their Christmas presents from Activision, so they don't trash the game on social media over the Christmas period. <laughs> there is no streamer going to trash the game on social media now. So well done Call of Duty, your plan worked. Man. Here's one of them now, opening their Christmas present. Okay. Yep, see the magnet? Dude, I'm so excited, I can't believe Call of Duty sent this. Ah! Wait, I actually don't know what this is. Area 99 record? I can't believe Call of Duty sent this. Ah! Wait, I actually don't know what this is. Area 99 records? Music edition, portable Bluetooth. Oh, it's a portable Bluetooth speaker. <gasps> yes, let's go. I've got my first ever portable speaker. Yes, this is so cool. I think this is chocolate. You guys know how much I love chocolate. Oh, shoot. It says Nuketown. What? Yo, that's some bomb ass chocolate. Yeah. An ugly sweater! Okay, I know. Did she say ugly sweater? Bum -bum 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 -bum. Uh, ugly sweater? It's like, yo, Call of Duty, like... It's crazy that the streamers are shilling for Black Ops 6 based off of what they're getting. Now, listen, man. I do believe that Black Ops 6 is better than Concord and Desmond, okay? <laughs> I've been enjoying my time for what it is, but it's, uh, but it's like crazy, right? That uh, Activision sent them hoodies, socks, and a chocolate from dollar store <laughs> and the streamers are like oh my god i love you guys i love you guys bro like they order it from alibaba bro like they, they order it from alibaba they get it for two pennies y'all like why y'all suck is just like okay but 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 i get it though like she's excited about it like i listen man like she happy with it she happy with it i got none about that okay i got no issue with that though so she has a ugly sweater but why is it so cute it's so cute got a little scarfy dude we're gonna be comfy cozy for the winter area 99 a beanie ah oh, that's so cool that's the call of duty logo oh my gosh look at this drip I am decked out for the holidays. Thank you decked so much, out. dude. Shout out to Call of Duty. Shout out to Activision yeah. Treyarch. Thank yeah, shout out to Call of Duty. Shout out to Call of Duty. And shout out to... Hey, 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 hey. My, my man is always looking, man. Why are you... You are... You know, that's the man. Shout out to... We love, we love the news reporter here. But also... Fally! Thank you so much for the amazing, Thank amazing you guys. air package. Also, one thing. We got one more thing that they said. I don't one think more? No! <gasps> Say sorry. Damn! Say sorry. A cooler! Oh my god! A mother freaking cooler! Oh my, my god! Gosh. Very correct. Bro, and this, okay, okay. Christmas. Remember the streamer Doug is wrong. That was a cheater, lol. And then I was like, that one time I was like, lol. Mm, okay. Wait for let it. me just see what they're all about. <laughs> the next morning I logged in. Back man. Well, Call of Duty <laughs> just sent this streamer a keyboard and lots of goodies. And now he's loving the game. Is that what you're trying to say? Now he like changed his opinion. But but that that wireless gun the keyboard looked busting though that, that looked good though what yeah that looked good but 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 Activision you guys could have like done a little bit more though I mean Call of Shim wouldn't like it I I get that because they already said he said what how much they spent 180k 180k USD that's a lot of paper but still though that's like uh le that's a pro less than. 
Concord, right? Because Concord, those suckers took 400 million. They wasted 400 million in eight years and that game turned out to be a disaster and they shut it down. They just don't even care anymore. But the question is, will he start to shill for Black Ops 6? Oh, that's the question. You yeah, bet. that's the question. And if you complain about these streamers cheating, I'm gonna throw some positivity on the t <laughs> on the tablet for Warzone. This is a 10 times better video than Warzone we had if you think otherwise. You, uh, if you think otherwise, you might be ass, okay? Then you're just bad. Okay. He wants everyone to believe this is 10 times better than the previous game. Okay, 10 if you times. you don't agree, well, he has some choice words for you. Microsoft are apparently setting up a committee. They have appointed a special group of people to oversee Call of Duty's terrible decisions. Streamers have influenced the game developers so much. Facts, Microsoft yeah. have had enough. What I am being told about the future of Call of Duty. Microsoft has set up a new committee under Activision for Call of Duty that will control features and systems at the franchise level and let the studio make suggestions. So, whether something like Omni Movement, which is new to the franchise, survives past this year, will be decided not by Infinity War or Treyarch, but by this committee. Mm. Studios are being told not to innovate in areas like UI. Of course, we know that. Prestige, oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, that's a, in a way, that's a good thing, because uh, Prestige is, pres they, they should innovate in terms of, like, uh, the, the, the reward system, the rewards that we get, yeah, we should get more rewards, this and that, that's the area where they should innovate, not necessarily innovate by removing Prestige, and then bringing it back and calling it brand new content, you know what I'm saying, right, uh, yeah, more ranking factor, I love it, I love it, but make sure the rewarding system is good, and it's not painfully slow, Prestige, certain gameplay features, etc., but rather to focus on innovating on mass, okay, that, that's good, that's good, modes storytelling as the that is where they want the creativity to come from now okay that's good i love yeah this is not bad this is uh this is uh this is good this is truly like uh what we want right better maps <laughs> I, I wish i could say psych right now but black ops 6 maps are due to uh, for the multiplayer there are only like two or three uh, good maps but that's about it other than that black ops 6 gameplay is kind of fun and i've been enjoying my time with it Whenever I get to play, like I play uh, and I put a podcast, and I enjoy my time that way. But you guys know now what the I mean, game right? developers like, will no maps. longer be allowed to influence anything other than the storyline. If this pans out, this could be one of the best decisions in the last ten yeah, years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, it all depends on the individuals depends. in charge. It depends. Let me know in the comments what you think about this new committee, and do you agree with Microsoft's decision? to take away no nah, good good decision uh, yeah stop like removing prestige uh, minimap and then bring them back and call that new content like nah bro like come on the man. power from the game developers and stop the streamer influence that yeah. has ruined this once great game <laughs> call of shame are proud to yeah bam's back what the hell oh, shit. he was perma bam uh have a small recap Funny he told everyone that he has no permanent every one of his recent achievements. Recent achievement? I find it funny he told everyone that he has no permanent ban. Let's have a small recap. I just got in perma banned. There is no way this just happened. We detected yeah. an active ban on the titles listed above. You may you must submit an appeal for these titles. By finger he, apparently he was perma banned. Uh, no pun intended, perma ban, <laughs> perma ban twice, right? Twice, status permanent ban. Did he, uh, did he, like, make a new account and got banned again? Or he was, like, unbanned and then banned again? That's the part that I don't remember. Uh, Let me know in the comments. Details below. But he was, he was banned two times. Streamers lie. No perma ban. I recently <laughs> exposed how these streamers were getting destroyed in Call of Duty. They didn't use cheats. This was just a nothing game with no financial incentives. But now they have targeted another game. Where's the, the grid is infested with cheating, and where there is cheating, the streamers will descend for a chance of a quick payout. Mm. When the Warzone streamers heard about the money, they put down Call of Duty, and quickly loaded up another game. These streamers were allowed to play from their bedrooms once again. This guy, and his band of goons, took home $260,000 in prize money. These streamers individually took home more money in three hours than an active serving colonel in the U.S. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. Man. Now, I'm not gonna... I'm not hating on these suckers for, like, making that much money, though. Uh, everybody deserve the best, for sure. But, but that's, like, a crazy comparison, right? I do agree, man. Like, the, the veteran 
especially like the the first responders they should be paid more teachers also should be paid more right because because like this this is why we don't have good teachers this is why we don't have quality teachers no more there of course some of them exist maybe like one of you guys are actually watching this video might be a teacher too so shout out to you man but but like we, we need better teachers and we, we also need better pay for the teachers for the first responders for the hospital workers yeah absolutely it, it is crazy now i'm not saying like they should uh, and also it, it, it's just like a couple of people that made that much right it's not everybody so that's also uh another perspective but it's insane when you get to hear it like they 260 grand usd right that's uh ha more than half of concord budget right there <laughs> <laughs> within three hours nah man that that's insane though but of course it's not just three hours they they have cheated for like years and years so to get up to this point you know what i'm saying right but they have also have played the game for years and years to get to that level as well but uh, but uh yeah man military i mean the first responders they deserve more money that's that's crazy u.s army can make in one year one oh, year these holy. players also competed holy. but didn't earn any money as the Warzone streamers took the prize pool. These financial tournaments Crazy, have ruined man. online gaming now, because where there is money, there is cheating. Mm. The gaming scene is an absolute joke. Oh, XQC was in part of it as well? Iceman has a 600k tournament. Okay, so even XQC was part of it. But when streamers who are notorious for cheating, take home just over a quarter of a million dollars, questions man. need to be asked. Look can, can a brother get like two pennies? Looking at the streamers who were invited, many of them, Proven cheaters in the Call of Duty scene, such as Aiden and Breadman. Breadman, yeah. But look who else was allowed to compete for six hundred thousand dollars? The permanently banned cheating Warzone streamer Nadia. Yeah! Hey, 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 time out! Time out! Time out! She back! She back! She who must not be named. She is back. She's back in action or just as a profile picture. That, I mean, that's a. That's an important question, right? Like, is she back in action or just as a photo? But nah, she probably back in action though. Yeah, man. Damn. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this scene is a joke. The game companies don't care. The streamers now care. know this. They can get away with anything. They are making a massive amount of money while in. I, 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 uh, I remember like well, uh, first. It, it, there is no debate. She was a cheater i'm not sure if she is currently cheating or not uh, i don't watch her streams uh, uh and there hasn't been too much drama about her with her recently either so what i'm gathering from all of this is that she's perhaps not cheating right now which is good which is good which is good right maybe she's changing her ways maybe she is changing her ways Maybe she is not being strong, independent. So that is good. Good progress. Good progress, right? And, and, and if that's true. But there's also a thing of once a cheater, always a cheater, right? Uh, yeah, right? So I, I don't know about that one. But if she's changing her risk, yeah, good for her. Good on her. Good for her. Good for her. Insulting people that work for a living. These streamers really are pathetic. They are such a stain on humanity. They contribute absolutely... DS4 Windows plus new buffed Black Ops 6 movement is making 9 to 5 year old heads rage. They think I'm cheating. Leave nothing to society. Call of Duty have responded to the cheating problem in Warzone. They always do, but... Ranked play launched this week and we're on it. Well, there's lots of work behind the scenes. Here are some highlights. We identified and fixed the data outage that raised... Excuse me, lowered efficacy of AI systems. We're also adjusting the threshold... Even the Biden AI bugs, even the Biden AI bugs. ...for ranked play, including aggressive targeting of suspicious accounts. Okay. We are accelerating replay investigations to review suspicious players. We appreciate your patience as we crumble. <laughs> Excuse me, battle. We have been patient. <laughs> <laughs> we have been patient for how many years at this point come on man we have been patient for so we have been patient for the last five years bruh you know we have been patient we also have been patient yeah this is all the community looking like bruh and, and the last time when you we, we have been patient ever since you guys dropped the fairly you know like ever since the bbc was inbound the, the you guys dropped the bundle like we have been patient even before that it's been a minute since you guys dropped that bundle, man. We've been patient even before that, man. Get mama with that. Get mama, Against man. Against these attacks that disrupt the fair and fun 
experience. Cap. Guys, check out this video on the screen. This is the last episode that we've done, and he was also caught cheating. We have clips of people cheating in the game. We got clips, people aimbotting, wall hacking. You heard these stories, but sometimes you don't get to see the footage. We have the footage shown in this video. Crazy stuff, man. Check it out, and I'll see you there.